Welcome to another three minute recipe from Cooking from the Cave. Today we're going to do some steamed Prince Edward Island mussels with some garlic cream sauce, a little basil on top, and some crostini. Uh, to start off, uh, mussels, I'll, I'll talk about how to handle them and everything, but the first thing you want to do with this recipe is you want to heat your pan up. Alright, and you're going to add a little bit of oil, followed up with some aromatics. The aromatics we're going to use today is going to be onions, garlic, red pepper flakes. And this is such a simple recipe. It takes just a few minutes to make, yet it'll immediately become a favorite in everybody's household. Regardless of if you like mussels or not, this will definitely turn that non-fish lover on to seafood and shellfish. Onions are going to caramelize a little bit, the garlic's going to caramelize a little bit. We're going to hit it with the uh, red pepper flakes. Shake that pan around a little bit. Now we're going to add roughly about two ounces, quarter cup of white wine. It's going to cook off that alcohol flavor. We're going to add our mussels at this point. What you'll notice is the muscle will start to open up, and I'll talk about that once we get the lid on this. We're going to add a half a cup of chicken stock, and this is going to create all that steam that goes to help open up the muscles. Give the pan a shake, and we're going to add uh, two, two ounces of heavy cream. Swirl it around, cover that lid up, turn our heat down to low. We're going to let those steam for about three minutes, they'll be done. In the meantime, let's get our crostini going. Our crostini is roasted garlic and butter infused with a little uh, pepper flakes, parmesan cheese, and salt. And all I'm going to do is take my Italian bread, cover it like so. And we're going to put these right in the oven. And we're going to put them under the broiler on high for roughly about a minute just to help them caramelize. And the garlic flavor that's in this butter will also kind of complement nicely the garlic cream sauce that we're serving with the mussels. I remember being on the West Coast and having these, making these in a little bed and breakfast, and it was wonderful. Wake up to the Puget Sound up in Seattle, it was just one of those meals you'll never forget. Now, while everything's cooking, let's talk about mussels. When you buy mussels, you want to want to make sure that they're, the shells aren't damaged, they're not cracked. If they're open, you just want to give them a pinch. And if they don't do anything or they don't close a little bit, like you see how this guy is closed, they'll close a little bit more, then set them aside. If he doesn't close by the time you're done cleaning the other mussels, then what I want you to do is just throw them away. He's probably dead. The second thing is, mussels will have this beard on them. It's a little... This is what helps them stick to the other mussels and they get their food that way. You're going to pull that off and throw it away when you're all done. At this point, your mussels are ready to be cooked. If you want to clean them up, scrub them off on the outside, get any barnacles or debris that's on the outside off. Sometimes you'll find other little clams or little shellfish stuck to it. You can scrub those off. Put those in the pan, and again, about three minutes, they'll be ready to come out. Our crostini's been in the oven now for about a minute. You can see how golden brown they've gotten. They look great. At this point, we'll just give the, the mussels another minute, and we'll be ready to uh, plate them up. All right, our three minutes are up for our mussels. They've opened up. They look beautiful. The last thing is to one, just either you can serve it straight from here, you can plate it up. I want to garnish it with some basil. The easiest thing to do with basil is line it up so all the stems are going in the same direction. You roll up the leaves, and with your knife, you're just going to rock through it so that you're going to create julienne strips or chiffonade strips. Drop that on top. I save the smaller leaves, I'll leave them whole, put the lid back on, 
Hold that one down tight, give it a good shake. A little salt, a little cracked pepper. And again, what I'll do is I'll just serve it right from the bowl. Garnish it up like so. And you have a wonderful four or five minute recipe there you can make with the mussels, steam Prince Edward mussels with garlic cream sauce, a little basil on top, and some garlic, roasted garlic crostini. Thanks again for joining us. See you real soon.